It was a call for an unresponsive one-year-old girl that brought IMPD officers to this east side inn just after midnight on May 6th. Police say Ariel Myrie Dingui died hours after she was rushed to Riley Hospital. It is preventable. We're told the autopsy was performed on the child just days after she was found unresponsive here at the Norwood Inn, but it was later determined that her manner of death was homicide. The autopsy revealed Dingui died from multiple blunt force injuries. Sergeant Justin Hickman with IMPD's Child Abuse Unit says sometimes it may be the results of more tests that allow them to make the next steps in an investigation. Sometimes there's just answers we won't have, toxicology and stuff like that, that just take time for us to get back. Hickman isn't the lead detective on this case, but says generally speaking, child abuse cases carry great importance. We are dealing with the most vulnerable, obviously, of our victims. That's one reason detectives make sure everything is done right the first time. Also, to prevent further crimes. Many of our perpetrators, unfortunately, are in the home with the children. In the case of Dingui, police haven't named a suspect, but they know who she was with before she died. Prevention advocates say it's time to speak up to make sure this doesn't happen again and to keep children from becoming statistics. Because these were, these were little ones now who will, who will never know you know, their potential, they'll never fulfill hopes and dreams. If you're feeling overwhelmed, they say step away, call a family member, a trusted friend, even police to help before you do something you can't reverse. Most people don't intend to hurt the kids, you know, especially our, 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 our serious bodily injury cases and even some of our death cases. On the east side, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. Police say detectives will present their findings to the Marion County Prosecutor's Office for a charging decision in the case. No arrests have been announced, and the Marion County Prosecutor's Office says no charges have been filed. Advocates also remind that Indiana is a mandatory reporting state for any adult that suspects child abuse. You can call the hotline at the bottom of your screen.